second and goal from the one. 5.07 to go in the first quarter. House formation around Barati. He's out of the gun. Barati takes the snap, gives to Chris Arnold, trying to go left. Arnold trying to sneak his way in, and it doesn't. He does get in. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders. Chris Arnold. Arnold able to sneak his way into the end zone on the left side from one yard out, and the Raiders lead it six to nothing. So first and ten. From the North Brunswick 45-yard line, Westfield again in the blue going from right to left. Shapiro works out of the shotgun here. Three receivers, two to the left. Shapiro dropping back to pass, looking, and chased out of the pocket. Ferreira chasing him deep on upfield, wide open, down the right side of the field, going in for the Westfield touchdown is Zarnecki. Zarnecki was wide open on the right side of the field. Terrell Pereira giving chase to Shapiro on the far side as Shapiro off balance threw it deep down the field to Zarnecki who is open by a good 10 yards. A 45 yard pass from Shapiro to Zarnecki and it is 7 to 6. North Brunswick pending the extra point. Fourth and four from the 16. The Raiders are going to try a field goal here. First field goal attempt of the season for Justin Batts. A 33-yard field goal for Bats. Snap. Barati holds. Bats' kick. Does it have enough? It does. It is good. Justin Bats. Big Poppy. Kicking a 33-yard field goal. His first one. First varsity field goal for Justin Bats, and it goes through. 10-7 Raiders. 6.08 left to go in the second. Third and eight. From the Westfield 47, 45 seconds left in the half. Raiders will have to hurry. They do have two timeouts. Empty backfield, trips right, two receivers left. Barati, Bailey goes in motion. Barati out of the gun, fakes to Bailey, drops back, looking, pump fakes, throws it over the middle, completes it to Marquise Perry at the 30, 20, near side, 10, 5, touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders, Marquise Perry. Marquise Perry. Marquise Perry. 47 yards. For the touchdown. 47 yards from Mike Barati to Marquise Perry. And the Raiders lead it 16 to 7. First varsity touchdown reception for Marquise Perry. 8-12 to go here in the third quarter. Again, the Raiders lead it 17 to 7, trying to finish out the regular season on a seven-game winning streak. Lining up wide to the left for Westfield is Constantino, which means that Rooney is wide right. Second and four from the 38. So three receivers, two to the left. Shapiro out of the shotgun. Allegro to his left. Shapiro takes the snap, rolling left. Looking, looking, being chased. Looking, throws it, deep ball downfield, and caught or incomplete. Incomplete. No. Referee first signal incomplete, but now it's a touchdown. The ball went off of Bailey, and it was caught by Griffin Rooney. Touchdown, Westfield. The referee first signaled incomplete. He was waving his hands. You know, from side to side, signal an incomplete pass. And then after Bailey tipped it, it landed in the hands of Rooney for the Westfield touchdown. And it's now 17 to 13. Pending the extra point. North Brunswick 17, Westfield 14. The Raiders have a third down and goal from the Westfield three-yard line. The Raiders looking for their sixth, or check that, their seventh straight win if they can get it. Westfield comes in at five and two. Third and goal from the three. House formation around Barati. So Barati. Will take the snap, hands off, Bailey going left, and has a block, goes into the end zone. Bailey. No signal, yes, touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders, Miles Bailey. And that is page 11 of the bailout plan from Miles Bailey. And the Raiders once again extend their lead to 23-14. to 14. Fourth down and 10 Westfield from the Raider 30, two receivers left. Out of the gun, Shapiro dropping back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, throws it right, looking for Rooney. He's got it. Touchdown, Westfield. 
I think Jaden Myers was looking for some help over there from Davi Hicks, but a bullet pass from Shapiro to Rooney on the right side. Rooney goes into the end zone, and Westfield is not done yet. 24 to 20, North Brunswick pending the extra point. Second and eight from the 39 for the Raiders, and they'll go ahead and give it to the near side here, and Dave Hicks across the 40, 45, 50, breaks the tackle. Dave Hicks, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Hicks. North Brunswick Raiders. Dave Hicks one more time. 61 yards. For a touchdown for the Raiders. A Scooby scamper for 61 yards for Dave Hicks. And for the second straight week, Hicks comes up big in the fourth quarter. And the Raiders lead it 30 to 21. 61 yards for Dave Hicks. So now you're looking at about third and 15 from the 30 yard line. With 2.14 to go. Two receivers left. Rooney to the right. Allegro to the right of Shapiro. Out of the gun. Takes the snap. Shapiro dropping back. Looking. Being chased by Lowry. Shapiro can't throw. Gets then Falls loose. Fumble. Picked up by the Raiders. From the 38. Going down the right sideline. That's Terrell Pereira. Pereira going into the end zone. The ball is fumbled. No touchdown signal. There it is. Touchdown North Brunswick Raiders. Terrell Pereira. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag down, though. If it stands, it's a 62-yard scoop and score for Pereira if it stands. And it looks like it will stand because I see the special teams unit coming out on the field. So apparently there was no flag. Oh, unsportsmanlike against the Raiders after the play. Okay. So unsportsmanlike conduct on North Brunswick after the play. So that'll, that'll go in the kickoff. So Lowry gets the sack, forces the fumble. Pereira picks it up and goes 62 yards. And that will pretty much put this one away. 37-21 Raiders. And so victory formation. Barati takes the knee. And that will do it. And so the North Brunswick Raiders win their seventh straight game to go to 8-1 and one on the season. Westfield drops to 5-3. and three As the Raiders come to Westfield and defeat the Blue Devils by a score of 38-21. And officially, this game is over. So the Raiders head into the state playoffs on a seven-game winning streak. 38-21 over Westfield. Another big day for Miles Bailey. Bailey in the one, I haven't totaled up his numbers, but in the 150 range for Miles Bailey with a touchdown. Chris Arnold with a touchdown. Marquise Perry, his first varsity touchdown. Terrell Pereira with a scoop and score on defense. Justin Batts making his first varsity field goal from 33 yards out. Dave Hicks with some late game heroics again in the fourth quarter. A 61 yard touchdown run for Hicks. And so the big players for North Brunswick continue to roll. And again, the Raiders now 8-1 and one as they look to gain a top seed in the Central Jersey Group 5 state playoffs. We'll see how that pans out, what the power points and the strength index and the OSI, the opponent strength index, all you know, pan out to. So we'll see how that goes. But the Raiders march into the state playoffs on a high note. They will play at home. Whether it's as a one seed or a two seed next week, next Friday night at Steve Lebron Field at 7 o'clock. We'll be on the air with Raiders Live pregame at 6.30. As the Raiders sweep their three games against the Mid-State 38 Conference.